This next video is all about holes, and maybe you can argue then that this video is about nothing. Either way, let's take a look. So here is the I-beam that we were working on previously, and you can tell I've already added one hole by creating a circle and extrude cutting through. But let's talk about more robust ways to make holes here in Alibre. And to do that, we'll use the hole tool. I'll start by selecting a face that I wish to put holes onto and then click the hole tool up here in the menu. And I get this tool that comes up that gives me an array of hole choices. I can use a simple hole, a counter bore, a counter drilled, counter sunk, and tapered. I'll start with a counter board and we'll come down here and let's say that my maximum diameter I want for my hole is two inches at a depth of a quarter an overall depth of 0.35 and the smaller diameter being one inch. All I have to do is click to add these pre-configured holes. And I can say, okay. Easy as that, it would have taken a lot more time to have made these holes in some other way. But we can also right click and edit if we wish to make changes. For instance, if I would like to change this into being a counter drilled, I certainly can. Or countersunk or tapered. It all works. The dimensions will transfer between holes and so the dimensions that I use for my counter drill, some will be uh, converted into my countersunk hole. So I can quickly and easily start changing uh, the way that I deal with holes in a Libre. Now I notice that I have some options down here, right? I am blinding down to this depth of 0.35, uh, but perhaps I'd like to go through all. And if I do that, you can tell that I'm even going through the next face down. But likewise, I can say to limit geometry, and I can say I wanna go down to this face. And there you can tell that we go through this face, but not through the next one. So those are ways that we can control our end conditions. But what if I want threads inside of this uh, smaller diameter? What do I do then? Well, I actually have this option to choose a thread series. Maybe I want ISO fine. And maybe I want M4 threads in there. Now that's a bit small, but as you can tell, we even have a cosmetic thread that goes along with it. Maybe we can uh, open this up to something more like M18 or M19. And there's our cosmetic thread. So we can easily add threads as well if we would like using this tool. And I can make this into a simple hole and just have a threaded tapped hole if that's what we prefer. You'll notice that something like a tapered hole does not have threads and so if I apply this, there's really not going to be a cosmetic thread there because that's not realistic. But any any type of hole that does have uh, threads, it will thread them. The threads are not actually created in the model, of course. I don't know of any CAD platform that makes that a standard feature because threads are so heavy. Uh, so it simply sizes it to the right size to be tapped for the threads that it represents. And then I can edit. And perhaps this is a very common hole for me to make among parts. I can go ahead and give this a preset. I can say whatever name I would like and create this as a preset and say, okay. Now I can open up even another part. So here we've got the cube that we've been making fillets and chamfers on. Let's open the hole tool now. Notice I didn't select anything uh, before clicking on the hole tool. And it asked me for a start surface. So I'll click, I'll select this as my start surface. And then I'll go to presets, common hole. And I simply click and it places uh, something right there for me. Now, right now I have a depth of three inches. Maybe I can take it down to a depth of 0.5. And I always have the option to overwrite my common hole. So now every subsequent common hole will have the uh, 0.5 depth instead or I can always delete a preset if I wish to do that. So that's how you work with holes in Alibre. Hopefully that was useful and we'll see you in the next video.